Hi everyone, this is Little Tank with a short video tutorial. Um, right now I'm going to cover the suitcase swing. This is a form of the kettlebell swing that is incredibly applicable to power and strength development. So if your focus is on developing more grunt, more explosiveness, more power, this is the swing for you. It is completely different to a standard swing or a hard style swing um, in that we have two kettlebells and both of those bells are outside of the feet. We do not follow them all the way through. We only allow the bells to just go past the butt and then we explode forwards. Massive, massive hip drive. The, the generation of power goes all the way up through the back, through the traps and comes out through the shoulders as well. It's an incredible move. It is not one that every single person will do all of the time. It's very specific. So if your goal is to increase maybe the numbers in your deadlift or increase your power for lifting stones, or maybe you need to throw harder and faster, this move will help you to do that. So I'm gonna demonstrate with a couple of heavier bells. These are my 32 kilo bells, okay? To make it very clear, you must use bells that challenge you for this move. This is not a move that you will do for 15 to 20 plus reps. No way. You're keeping your reps low um, and the volume high. So I personally would do five to 10 rounds of these for absolutely no more than 10 reps, okay? To put it into perspective, in my own training, I will do a set of these before I do a set of deadlifts switches on my central nervous system, fires me up, gets the glutes and hamstrings engaged. So when I get down to the bar, I'm ready to pull and I pull even better than I would had I not done them. So here's my kettlebells. My feet are under my hips, okay? Meaning that I'm not in a wide stance. I'm in like a neutral stance, okay? I'll do it from two angles so you can see me as well. So, feet under the hips. One kettlebell outside of each foot, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hinge as I always do in a swing. So I'm hinging, I'm not squatting, I'm hinging. My butt goes back, I'm tight all the way down here, okay? I reach out for my bells, my palms are facing back. That's important, okay? You're going to hike the bells back, breathe in, breathe out, and drive them forwards. So I'm going to do 10 reps for you, and you just watch and see what I do, okay? Now, pay attention to the way that I breathe when I'm doing that as well. I'm breathing in strongly through my nose as I pull the bells back, out hard through the mouth as you drive them away from you. With this one, you will know where your traps are the next day. Even if you're someone who trains your traps regularly, this just hits them in a different way. It's gotta be felt to be believed. So from the front, feet under hips, one kettlebell outside of each foot, okay? Hinge, push the butt back, chest is elevated, shoulders are back, eyes are forward or slightly up. We never look down because we don't want to round, okay? So eyes forward, hands on your bells, hike them back, breathe in, and then off we go. I'll do five reps this time. Brilliant accessory move for deadlifting. Brilliant accessory move for anything powerful, to be quite honest. Um, you'll approach whatever you're gonna do next, switched on and ready to do it. Watch your numbers rise, people. Give it a try and let me know how you get on. This little tank, see you later.